Hello and welcome to the Blue Open Studio tutorial video series. The topic of this video will be creating a new application. In this video, we will be discussing how to create a new application, and then we will be demonstrating creating a new application and locating the application folder in Windows Explorer. To create a new application, once we have the development environment open, we'll go up to the application menu and click new. Once we do that, we will see the new application dialog window appear. In this window, there are several different fields that have to be configured in order for the application to be created. At the top, we have three fields, project name, location, and configuration file. All three of these are related to one another and they correspond to the actual location and project name of the application. And for example, my location by default is my username slash documents slash Blue Open Studio version 8.0 projects. Uh, what I want to do is I want to change that and I want to select my C drive just to make it easier to locate the application. As you see, once I change my location, the configuration file changes as well. And you see now it just says C colon slash project slash project dot app. The configuration file is the brain of the application. It has information and directions and file locations for all of the various tasks and functions that are configured inside of the application. For example, what files to execute for running a certain script or to trigger alarms, what drivers are configured, uh, what the tag or product type is that's selected, and the screen resolution, among many other things. Uh, and this app file is located inside of a project folder. Uh, unlike other Proface softwares. Blue Open Studio does not have a single project file. It actually compiles all this different information into a project folder. Uh, and that is what is used to operate the application. So if we come up here and change our project name, for example, to BOS underscore training, we see that the configuration file field changes as well. And now you see it says C colon slash BOS underscore training slash BOS underscore training dot APP. This is because Blue Open Studio not only uses the project name for the file name for the APP or configuration file, but it also uses that name for the folder name of the application. Now we need to select our product or license type. Uh, the target platform dropdown simply will allow you to filter out licenses based on the platform selected. Uh, as of right now with Blue Open Studio, we have four licenses available. And you see the list below the product type. And then there is also a description below that based on what you have selected that will provide not only the full description of the product type, but also what the tag count is for that license. Uh, for this application that we're gonna create, we just wanna select machine control or 1500 tag. And then we click okay. Uh, once we click okay, we see the project wizard dialog appear. Uh, and that is split into two sections. The left-hand side is the template. Uh, as of right now, this is simply a placeholder for a feature that is being developed for future release. Uh, so empty application is the only one that's currently available and it will be selected by default. On the right hand side, we have the display settings. Uh, we have a drop down list for predefined resolutions. And then we have a width and height field where if we select custom, under resolution, we can enter in a custom width and height for the resolution. Uh, for us, for this application, we are going to select a predefined one, 1024 by 768. And as you see, once you select the resolution, that width and height fields disappear. Once we have se that selected, click OK. And after a few seconds, the application will open. 
Now we see that we have our brand new application that is loaded into Blue Open Studio development. If we need to locate the application inside of Windows Explorer, we can do that one of two ways. Uh, once we open Windows Explorer, we could navigate to its location, for example, under C, and there's my BOS training folder. If I expand this, now you see the structure of the application. There's the configuration file, and you'll see several subdirectories and a few files located there as well. Uh, in future videos, we will discuss the majority of these subfolders and files. Another way to locate the application is under the database spy. And under tag expression, if we type in get app, A-P-P, P-A-T-H, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and hit enter, in the value field, we will see the path. We can simply copy that, open Windows Explorer, paste it in, and it'll bring us right to the application directory. Now this is the location of the app file, not the folder itself. So it brings you right into the application folder. In the description of this video is a link to download a zip file. The zip file is called Blue Open Studio Training Files. This zip file contains several additional files that we will be using during the creation of our training application. So once we download the zip file, we will need to extract it. I'm simply going to extract it to my C drive so I can easily find it. So I go there, here we see the BOS training class files, and inside of there are the subfolders and files that we will need during the creation of several features throughout Blue Open Studio. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProFace America Technical Support by phone at 1-800-289-9266, option 2, or by email support at profaceamerica.com. You can also visit our website, profaceamerica.com, for manuals, drivers, product FAQs, and other product and software information. Thanks again, and have a great day.